So if you're connected with me on LinkedIn, you already know that I graduated from my college this year and I started my job as a DevOps engineer right after my college. Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to share my experience of how I became a DevOps engineer right after my college without any experience. If you are a student or a fresher who wants to start their DevOps career or who wants to get a job as a DevOps engineer, watch this video till the end because this video is going to be very helpful. I'm explaining all the steps that I followed and how I got the job. So watch this video till the end. I know getting a job as a DevOps engineer for fresher or for non-experienced people can be difficult. But if you follow all the steps mentioned in this video, you can get a DevOps job in less than six months. So I'm going to explain everything that I went through, uh, all the steps that I did to get my first job as a DevOps engineer. So let's get started. Before starting with the video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe to my channel. So let me tell you the steps I followed to get my job as a DevOps engineer. So first thing I started with was Linux. Linux is crucially important if you want to start your journey as a DevOps engineer. I started using Linux two years ago and I haven't used Windows since then. So I completely removed my Windows operating system and right now I am using my Ubuntu which is a Linux flavor. So if you want to get started, first thing you want to do is learn Linux, get good hands on with the terminal because every DevOps tools you get, you see Terraform, Kubernetes, Docker, Ansible, every tool works on the commands. And for you to know and understand the commands, you have to have good hands-on knowledge with the terminal. So you can start learning Linux uh, either in your using your virtual machine, you can completely remove Windows as I did, or you can use Amazon EC2 servers to practice Linux. So I would recommend around four to five months of Linux if you want to get basic understanding and to get hands-on knowledge with the terminal. So yeah, start with Linux. That's what I did. Second thing I started with was software development lifecycle. Like how is an application or a software created? What are the different cycles? What are the different components like databases, networking? You also need to know the basics of networking and databases, different ports and protocols to work with. So because they asked this in the question, in the interviews, I had interviews where they actually asked me what is the port of MySQL? What is the port for uh, Cassandra and all of this stuff. So you need to know the basics and this will help you a lot as well. Next important thing that I learned was Git. Git is also a very important component or very important topic that you need to know if you want to work as a DevOps engineer. Because every company who is going to create some software or anything is going to store their code on GitLab, on GitHub or any repository. So for you as a DevOps engineer, you need to have the knowledge of how Git works, what are the different commands, how to clone something from GitHub and how to push your code, how to commit, how to know which branch to use. Everything is very important. So give some time to Git and Git can be possible if you know how to work with Linux because in Git you have all these different commands. So if I show you this commands are present, Git clone, git init, git add, git move, restore, all these commands are there in git and you need to have good knowledge of git if you want to become a DevOps engineer. So I would recommend you to spend some time on git and maybe around, maybe try to do a project or something where you will be using all these commands so that you get a knowledge, hands-on knowledge of how git is used because this is very important. Next important thing that got me my DevOps job was knowledge of cloud. So you need to know how to deploy applications in the cloud, how to set up servers, how to set up storage, containers, database in the cloud. You can choose any of them. You can choose AWS, Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. You can choose any of them, but you need to know how to set up your databases in cloud, how to set up your workloads in the cloud. And if you are learning cloud, I would recommend you to go with certifications. I have personally started with my cloud practitioner certifications and then I went and did my associate and all the different certification. If you want to learn more about certification, you can check out my channel. I have created courses and practice test to help you understand cloud. Also, I am an AWS community builder right now. So yeah, another thing that helped me is projects and certifications. So now that you know all these things, you know cloud, you know Git, you know how to deploy an application, you can start creating projects or if you're learning something, make sure you attain some certifications. Once you do this, you can post it in your resume, on your LinkedIn profile and that can help you get the job and stand out among all the different candidates. So certifications and projects can help you get your first job 
because you might not have experience so i made projects you can try out projects like building your cloud resume hosting a web- static website on s3 hosting a wordpress website with database on rds all the different projects you can find a list of projects online or if you want me i can create a video where we can do some projects online so projects and certification can extremely help you if you're a, if you're a fresher or a student because that's how you can show what you know because you don't have a you don't have experience i didn't have experience as well but i had some certifications and that got me an internship so that brings me to my next topic is building your portfolio make sure you make your resume and your linkedin properly because whenever the recruiters come they will see your portfolio they will see your linkedin a uh, profile how well is it organized what things do you do and are you able to do the things that they will ask you to do so i focused on my linkedin and i got my job as well as my internship through linkedin so i would recommend you to build your portfolio up to upload your projects upload your certifications on linkedin and make sure it is all good so that whenever the recruiter comes he should hire you once i had few certifications and the knowledge to work on different tools and clouds i started applying for internship i started applying for internship on linkedin on all the different job portals and eventually i got an internship along with that before my internship i was also doing freelancing where i was helping people all over the world to set up their infrastructure on the on the cloud i was setting up i was helping them setting up their websites their application doing some configurations in aws services so you can try out applying for internship or if you don't Uh, if you don't get internship you can try out your hands on with freelancing or you can do some work for free just to gain experience so that it can help you in getting your job so these are all the steps and the path i followed to get my remote devops engineer role i hope this video was informative if you found this helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more cloud and devops videos thank you and have a good day